Today we're going to be talking about travel humidors and all their associated pros and cons from the many selections we have here on the table. Hello, my name is Paul Anthony from Bespoke Unit. I'm CP, also from Bespoke Unit. And today we're going to be looking at all the travel humidors that I pretty much own that are on this table. Well, well there's one that one's you own. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a large amount of options, but there's also a large amount of options when you're going to be traveling. So we were just exactly. talking about, okay, if I'm going to New York, I might want a luxury humidor mm. when I'm wearing a suit. If I'm going to be going away to London for a month to see the family, I may want a larger case. Mm. If I'm just going on the golf course, I can maybe take, you know, a smaller five stick Herford mm. or, or if I'm looking to save space, then it might be one of these bow with a humidor bags. Yeah, you know? I mean, so, these are great and we'll talk about those in a couple of seconds, or unless you want yeah. to jump into them right now, the benefits of a bow with a bag over a travel humidor. Well, we could do that, or we could also talk high level, the pros and cons, what you really okay. need, what you really need. So the number one thing you really need to do is create a relatively airtight environment to obviously mm. keep that RH in. So what is a humidor? It's basically a microclimate of relative humidity that you want to keep something at. And in this case, we're keeping cigars at a particular mm. relative humidity. So if I'm on the road and I want to be taking old world cigars, I might want to keep them at a 65 RH. Mm. And if it's new world, it might be a 69 RH. So depending on the quality of the seal. So I know some of the Herford doors and even the zip model I have over here, they definitely have some more um, air exchange mm. than something that's maybe a little more airtight like this uh, cigar locker or maybe the uh, cigar caddies have pretty good seals on them as well so something that's got a little bit more air exchange like the zip one over there then i might put like a 72 percent over the pack mm. in there because you're expecting that humidity to get sucked out mm. as well something that's a little more airtight you might not have to do that so mm. number one thing i think we want to look at is the viability of keeping like that How does it microclimate as a, as you know a humidor, but next you want functionality yeah, and that so, functionality kind of changes depending on what you're doing. Yeah, like you were saying. So if you're traveling, if it's pure travel, you want something that is going to really protect these from hazards. So some actually boast that they're waterproof as well as airtight, which you kind of expect as well because, you know, yeah, kind if, of one of the if same. air can't go in, water definitely can't go in. <laughs> uh, but they're also crush proof. So if you're going to throw some uh, stogies in your luggage, you want to be really careful. So something like this is great. But something like this, well, it's not going to really give that kind of impact or crush protection. No. Meanwhile, for, for your lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, I use all of these for different scenarios, mm. you know. So if I'm going to just be going out, um, you know, on a walk, then I've got like a barber jacket. I might put one of these like mm. small boater packs in because I don't necessarily want to carry around like, you know, a plastic container. And I know I'm going to be smoking within the next half an hour. If I'm in the car driving somewhere, then I go on a walk mm. and that's like a... A great option and Boveda have like three different sizes for a, a multitude of these. I know like Rob Gagne from Boveda, he just like throws 30, 40 sticks in these and I mean you can get you know I can I like, managed to get two nub boxes in these. So yeah, you get 50, you, can, 50, you can put the that's the benefit of the large bags is that if you buy a box when you're traveling, if you get a large bag you just put the you put, put the box the in whole the box bags, in there, yeah. And yeah. then you've got the protection but you've also got the airtight seal, so you've got really all the benefits that you want to have sure as well so i mean that's like one solution mm. and then like another solution i have is when i go to the golf course you know i'll probably take like a herb door or something if i'm in a four board i know the guys are smoking we might go through two sticks each there might be eight sticks so mm. that's going to be too small so i might need something a little bigger but i'm not going to take like this luxury you know davidoff it one there fitting, it? it's not really there but if i'm yeah. going to a meeting in new york or i'm downtown philadelphia or where i live i take this as a great conversation piece holds eight cigars. Mm. The other nice functional thing we're talking about, it also holds the accessories you may want. So it's got a slot for my uh, Zycar scissors and a lighter. The same with this Calibri model uh, as well, which is like, I know with like your one, for example, it protects the cigars, but it doesn't really hold them in place. Yeah, you that's know? it. Well, you've got a bow and a bag in here naturally, but outside of that, they're rolling in here quite freely. So it's not really protecting them as such. So you need to have as many cigars as possible in there to give really that sort of shock resistance. So if we look at this one, we have like individual ribs within the foam that you can lay the cigars in, you mm. know? So, um, again, this may be not be the, the black and white answer you guys are looking for. What is the best travel humidor? You have to think However, about you have to think, needs. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. That's where I'm going, yeah, yeah, with that one. So, you know, I think there are a lot of different options mm. out there and we're gonna include links below to a lot of these options that you see on the table. Mm. And I think you really need to think about, do I wanna carry around my cutter and my lighter, or is mm. it better to go inside a solution? Um, 
are going to be in a position where they may be getting crushed or pushed against in luggage or mm. a backpack and it may be something firmer or can I get away with something that's a little bit cheaper you throw you know your bow with a bag in there and then you've got your bow with a humidor mm. bag and then you know you're kind of good to go. I think a good so. example um, so for my summer vacation I went to Scotland and I literally took two boxes that I put in this in the boot of my car because it was a road trip but then when I went out I had uh, I had a Hereford or basically like this, I think it was a cigar caddy actually, sure. that I'd take with me to wherever I was going. So I had the two options depending on the various needs I had during that vacation. And you're going all the way from, we're talking like, you know, five, ten bucks, yeah. all the way through to, you know, a couple hundred, three, four hundred dollars, you yeah. know, and you can go right. up and above that. I know that there's, you know, certain cigar kind of caddy-esque ones. Mm. Uh, um, like the ones you see at the end here, you open them up and they have different slots for all manner of, um, you know, accoutrement, cigar rests, etc. This one yeah, just has cigar now. storage, but again, you've, you're fighting against cigars potentially rolling back and forth within yeah, that so. area. I think that the Davidoff does the best job yeah, of securing, um, you know, cigars tightly um, in that scenario, but you've got a relatively large um, travel humidor here to only store eight cigars, but they are very well you know protected so you know again you're looking at you know oh and this one's interesting to know because this has got wood inside of it i actually leave this inside a large boba humidor bag with a boba pack in there so to make sure that the woods because what i don't do is leave this in the house this wood goes down to you know 20 30 percent rh mm -hmm. and i throw cigars in there for four or five hours before i go and play golf or give them out to friends at an evening event and all of a sudden you know Cigars lose moisture mm. a lot quicker than they regain moisture. So yeah. we just make sure we want to have acclimatized environments mm. that our cigars go into, um, you know, before we're going to enjoy them, basically. Mm. So, you know, we can always look at, you know, budget, look at airtight seals. I know some of the herbivores, they're cheap, but I know this one in particular, and I don't know if you can see that, but there is some gaping on some of the seals. So again, this would not be an ideal long-term storage solution, but I haven't really had the same issues with- I noticed the cigar caddy is yeah. slightly better when it comes to that. I mean, I don't know how you kind of mess up a, an injection mold, but you know, again, I'm not an injection mold specialist, but that <laughs> does, I know that, you know, in certain lights, you can actually see gaps through the side, the side of that, which is an ideal. And I haven't exposed it to like extreme temperatures or anything. Mm. So, again, you're always going to semi get what you pay for. Obviously, there's a premium with something like a Davidoff or a Calibri, um, but they do perform very well for certain scenarios. Yeah. So, in case you're wondering, well, out of all of these options, which is the best? There's actually a full guide with. A lot of it is basically what we've discussed today on this video, but there is a full guide that also offers the best recommendations on BespokeUnion.com. Look in the description below and you can take a look and where to buy them. Yep, and we're always open to suggestions from the Bespoke Unit community here on YouTube. So mm. if you have any comments or you know questions of us or you know travel humidors that use or solutions, like for example, why you know I've been asked, well, why don't you just use a Ziploc? Well, you know, one of those mm. Ziploc bags, they actually have a moisture exchange through that plastic, mm. is where this particular plastic is designed to not have any sort of moisture exchange it's whatsoever. Very laminated with uh, an enclosure that is uh, double protection compared to a regular zip. Yes, yeah, so so. it's not just a, a damn sandwich mm. bag. But you know, if you're in a, if you're in a pinch, it's yeah, a use the zip yeah. lock. But you know, if we're going to prepare ourselves and we have all these kind of options mm. available to us as cigar smokers, let's get the right tool for the job. Oh, so you yeah. know, we're throwing in a twenty thirty dollar cigar. Then you know, we want to make sure that we're going to enjoy that in the most optimal way possible mm. with the correct RH that we enjoy that cigar at. You know, yeah, for sure. So, uh, as Charles Philippe said, you can check out all of the resources on BespokeUnit.com, as well as links below to other YouTube videos we have here on cigar content. Again, comment with any travel humidors that you like or solutions. Uh, please like our channel and turn on those notifications because there'll be plenty more uh, cigar content coming up as we are definite cigar fans over here, mm. as well as covering a lot of other men's lifestyle topics from watches, shoes, travel, you name it, we pretty much have it covered here at Bespoke Unit. You know? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And my name's Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And we'll see you later. Take care.